how much do you pay each member of your team? First off, this is a hard question to answer because I think every, every market's different and every, every team leader, the person who's creating the team is different. Let me just give you from my own experience. I was able to uh, give and, and re ask for a higher split than maybe most uh, team leads out there because I actually produced a lot of results, right? I was, I was a prospecting king. I was able to bring in a lot of business. So when I'm actually providing leads, buyers and seller leads for my listing coordinator and my buyer's agent, I'm able to take a higher percentage of commission, right? So I, I have to tell you there's, there's no, here's the, the clear line path. There's books about this and says you have to charge a 70-30, you have to take 50%. And it's, it's all about value to me, right? What are you truly providing for your team? I hate when I see teams that are like, I'm not getting anything out of my buyer's agent. It's like, well, you're not, one, you're at a 50-50 split, two, you're not providing them training and mentoring, and three, you're really not giving them leads. I was able to get a 50-50 split with my buyer's agent because guess what? I was able to provide buyer leads. I had 35 referrals coming in from my database every single month. Here are the buyers, they need a buyer's agent, here you go. I was able to find buyer's agents that didn't wanna do crazy prospecting, although they were required to do some, that was not their primary focus. Me, I was. I was the lead generator. I can generate leads, baby. I was out at networking events. I was out meeting people. I was belly to belly. I was always trying to bring in as many referrals and leads as I possibly can for my buyer's agent and my listing coordinator. So when someone said, yeah, I'm thinking about listing my home, great, I'm gonna send someone over. I'm gonna send my top lead specialist over. They're gonna come. They're gonna do an analysis on your property. They're gonna tell you what it's worth, blah, 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 right? I'm gonna set you up with my best buyer's agent. She's great. You're gonna love her, and I provided those. So. I hate to not give you the answer you want because I, I can give you examples, but it's gonna be completely on what you can provide. You know, I provided great mentorship. I, I ran a tight ship. I had an assistant that would support them. So I'd support people who supported my buyer's agents and my listing coordinators. I had someone who helped them market, right? I had someone and I had people in place to do everything for them so that all they had to do was show property to buyer, right? Negotiate, which I helped on, and then list a property and get offers on it. The marketing was taken care of. The support was taken care of. The, the coordinating services were taken care of. The appointment confirming was taken care of. I provided value, so I was able to charge higher. Whether you're at a brokerage like a Keller Williams or a Remax to a Cowell Banker or you know a Berkshire Hathaway, I mean, they're all different types of models, and I can't give you the perfect model. You have to fit what, what, what's truly in your brokerage and then what value you bring. I brought value. I mean, I brought a lot of value, and so, I was able to, I had people who wanted to be my buyer's agent. I had people who wanted to be on my team because they saw the value I brought, which I was able to demand, since I had demand, I was able to demand a certain commission split with them. Um, yeah, what value do you bring? I need more context, I guess.